Ellis Hospital is assuring the community that closing its youth mental health unit is only temporary. But local schools say they can't afford to wait around for that. News 10's Michaela Singleton now sharing how they're adapting amid a crisis. In two weeks, there's still no sign in sight when Ellis Hospital might reopen the only nearby inpatient facility for adolescents in mental health crisis. In the past couple weeks, yes, it has put a strain on everything because everything was already strained. February 1st to April 1st, we had 15 student admissions alone at Ellis. School districts in Schenectady County say drastic is not an overstatement when considering the demand for youth mental health services post pandemic. The longer the Ellis unit remains shut down, even temporarily, educators worry families may be deterred from seeking out help. There's a lot of concern around um, what this could create for barriers for our families if they don't have transportation to be able to get to a hospital away from the city. The solution? Find the warning signs early. Both Schenectady City and Mohonison Central School Districts say they're focusing on training staff. Part of this training is, hey, you may not be equipped to meet the needs of the child that's presenting, so who is on the team and can you connect the student with the resources? Those resources include relying on community partners like Northern Rivers Mobile Crisis Team. That team sends clinicians into schools. It helps fill the gaps left by the Ellis closure. Usually in those situations, someone needs uh, a crisis plan, they need someone to talk to and they need some, some safety planning in order to remain safe. Um, and if we are able to provide that, we can keep them out of inpatient units. There's also resources offered by the New York State Office of Mental Health, including the new GOT5 text line and the Youth Act program Northern Rivers hopes to launch by July 1st. As the name suggests, it's assertive community treatment. So what it will do is, is send treatment teams into the community in order to provide treatment to youth and their families in their homes. Reporting in Schenectady, Michaela Singleton, News 10 ABC.